So one of the things that you can do to customize your desktop is to change the wallpaper. So in order to do that, you can right click over here and then go to personalize. Right click on any of the empty spot in desktop and then go to personalize right over here. Once you go on the left side, you see background as an option. So simply click on that. And right now in mine, solid color is being selected. So let me just click and drag this out so that I can see the desktop background as well. So right now, solid color is used. So if I were to uh, select any of the color right here, you can see that the color of my desktop background changes accordingly to the color I choose. So if I were to choose black, it's black. If I were to choose uh, something like uh, this, like green, uh, then mm, uh, green it is just like that. Mint dark is mint dark and so forth. So just like this, I can choose a color. So one thing is this, and another thing you can do is you can also select a custom color over here. So if I were to go to custom color, just like this, you can see choose from a range of colors right over here, like purple, change the level of brightness of purple. You can even go to font and input uh, an RGB color if you want to, or SSP value right over here, if you know them how to add it in. So if I'm, I'm, I'm just going to press done, and there you go, there's my color cho choice right over here. So let me just change it back into the color choice that I have right now. So you can add in custom color as we saw as well. So if you have to go to the top on the background right now, it's selected solid color, but I can change it out into a picture or a slide. So if I were to go to picture, you'll be able to see that I got a bunch of pictures that I can choose from. So if I were to select this one right here is the windows picture that comes pre-bundled with the operating system. So I can also do this. I can browse for my own picture. If I were to click browse, I can actually go over here onto my YouTube drive. And uh, let's say I want to choose a picture uh, that I want. So let's say I want to use YouTube as picture right over here. So once I open up, you can see that this is my desktop background now, YouTube just like this. So now I can fill up the entire screen like this by the desktop background. You can see fill is actually turned on. Let me just uh, rescale this so, so that you can see it more clearly. If I have to go down and change it from fill to stretch, it'll stretch out the entire picture. So fill, what it is doing is that it is cropping out the top and bottom part because the image that I chose is actually square. It's not rectangular shape as my monitor. So fill is actually cropping out the picture. So once I change it to stretch, it actually stretches out the picture, but this may usually not be what you want. There's also other option over here like tile. So what tile does is that uh, it repeats the picture if it is small. In my case, the picture is large, so I'm not seeing the effect. So I'm going to browse over here onto my picture. So let me just go to my picture right over here, something like this, press open, and you can see that the tile effect is there. So this is stretch. It is stretching out the picture right over here on the background, as you can see. But if I were to do tile, you can see that it repeats out the picture just like this. If I were to change it out into center, it just keeps the picture at the center. It does not stretch out the picture and the uh, default background color that I chose actually comes up over here just like this. So I can center it out as well. I can span it out as well. So it actually spans it out to multiple desktop if I have multiple monitors. In my case, I got two monitors. It is spanning out to my right monitor as well. So I can just go over here and choose uh, the picture of my choice and so forth. So fill is usually the option I like to go with just like this. So just like that, I can change the picture and also you have slide so as an option. So what you can do is uh, you can change the picture every 30 minutes right over here or change the picture every one day and so forth. So let's say you want to change the picture every 30 minutes. You can select that out, select a bunch of pictures right over here. So let's say uh, from over here on my uh, YouTube drive, let me just go to my pictures and over here, uh, what you'll be able to do is you can select pictures uh, that you can choose. So let me just go over here and I can choose this folder and it'll bring out all the pictures in that folder right over here. And then every uh, 30 minutes, it'll change out my desktop background for me. It also allows me to shuffle so the picture are not changed in order. So it's more random if you were to do it and you can change uh, to fit or stretch everything out. So right now it's set to fill. So it'll change out the picture as well, just like this. You can do a slideshow as well. So every minute to every uh, one day, six hours and so forth. So you have a bit of a variation going on right there. But in my case, I'm just going to stick on to solid color because this is what I'm used to and it's much more simpler for the eyes as well. And 
uh, the icon sensor and so I usually prefer the simple color right over there so just like this you can control the uh, background uh, image of your Windows PC uh, and that's how you customize the background of your desktop in Windows 10 so hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe